What did my information, education, cultural background, what did not prepare me for today? The virus is real. The question is how healthy are you? So I could, I could be a victim right now saying, you know, I have heart disease, diabetes, I'm overweight. I've had pneumonia three times. I've had malaria. And all that did was inspire me to be healthier. And so let me give you my definition of health. Health is mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical health. The average person goes to their doctor once a year for an annual checkup. That's not health, that's called medicine. Mental health is crucial. I mean, what thoughts do you have in your head? If you think this is a bad time, guess what? You're right, it's bad. But if you think this is possibly the best time for you, you can move forward. My message is this is metamorphosis time. The evolution or the transformation from an immature form to an adult form. Metamorphosis is the same as a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. And Fuller always said there's nothing to predict a butterfly inside a caterpillar. So everybody listening right now, if you're struggling financially, just think of yourself as a little caterpillar. And this crisis is your cocoon. The question is, what do you emerge as? Do you emerge as a victim? You know, the world did that to me and the, the capitalists are crook and the rich are bastards and all this stuff. Or do you say, oh, this is the best thing that ever happened to me. The same as my health. I am ground zero for the crisis. All that does is inspire me to get healthier. You're either going to get healthier and wealthier or you're going to go bust. Your choice. It sits between your ears, your heart, your body, your mind, your spirit, your attitude. In a time like this, where most people are scared, Robert, most people are feeling pain, they're watching their money go out the window, they, some are gonna be able to realize and say, wow, this is the greatest moment of my life where I'm gonna be forced to transform and I can completely look at money in a different way, wealth in a different way, my purpose, or they can batten down the hatches and get the last piece of toilet paper and hold on and keep doing the same behavior. It's their choice, right? The choice is between your head, your heart, your body, your mind, your spirit. That's where the choice, the metamorphosis, the evolution or the transformation from an immature form. You know, mommy and daddy are gonna take care of me. Mommy and daddy are gonna pay for my education. The government's gonna give me social security. I have a 401k. You know, the, my employer's an asshole. You know, da, 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 da. You're gonna evolve from that into an adult. For many people, this corona crisis and the ensuing depression that we're going into is your wake up call or you're gonna be a victim and somebody's gonna step on you that the little worm you are because you didn't metamorphosize. You know, everybody talks about rights, but we have personal responsibilities too. In these times of fear, don't let people take control of your mind, my friends. Every day you gotta stand guard at the door of your mind. Most people let their fear take control of them in this whole Thing. I thank God in Australia it's not out of control in the mindset like it is in the mindset of other parts of the world. But 600,000 people die a year of the flu all around the world. 600,000 every year, 600 to 650,000. So any death is painful. Any death is not something you want. But if you're taking care of yourself and you're healthy, all the experts say there's nothing to worry about. I know that you know fear suppresses the immune system. So there's no good in that. So please be the leader and don't let people overcome you the fear. If you go on the web, you'll get overwhelmed. If you just watch the news, you need to remember the news is great. They're not bad people, but the news is a business and its number one job is not to inform you. It's to startle you. If they inform you, you don't pay attention. There's too much competition, but if they startle you, you'll click on the link or you watch the TV set. And so educate yourself. Don't let yourself react. Don't let yourself live in fear. Fear is not going to help you make the right decision. This could be the greatest wake up call for most of the citizens around the world. And look, from what we see with the numbers, you know, most people are gonna survive through this, but let's be honest, it also could have been worse. So the question is, are you gonna start making choices today about your health, you know, about your obesity, about your smoking, about your habits? Are you gonna start making choices today about your financial education? And are you gonna take ownership for where you're at right now? Unfortunately, everything you hear coming out of the media is preaching it's not your fault and the government's gonna take care of you and that's just gonna set you up to be a slave and then the next crisis is gonna hit and the next crisis is gonna hit.